I've pretty much used up any sort of cushion. The influence of the internet and big box stores has been a, a huge issue. We're losing some business to that, but we're gaining some because we're, we're, we're selling on the internet. They're giving up that sense of community. They aren't necessarily saving much money. I'm Beth Bergman. I own Wet Paint. It's an art supply store on Grand Avenue. My name is Dan Marshall. My wife and I own Peapods, Natural Toys, and Baby Care. This has been a long time watching money closely. And 2007 was like this crazy good year for us. And we were able to set some money aside, luckily, mm -hmm. but then when we got into 2008, 2009, I think people were thinking a lot more about what they bought. We got to hunker in and we're either going to have to let somebody go or decrease inventory. And we were able to trim inventory and just keep our staffing mm -hmm. about where it's been throughout the whole time. I think the way forward is for people to always think about how their values go along with the money that they spend and to what extent they enjoy shopping on Grand Avenue or where we are in St. Anthony Park. Um, and if you enjoy those places, then uh, you should you know, shop there and, and spend your money at those little stores. A lot of people in small business didn't, did not get in, into small business to make a ton of money. They got into it because they love some aspect of it. They love the product, they love the neighborhood, they love people. You know, we develop personal connections with our customers. Mm -hmm. We develop personal connections with our suppliers. Toy companies that we've dealt with who, they were so excited they got into Target, for example, and Target had them one Christmas season and the stress of getting all the demand off into the Target and they weren't able to ship to us because, you know, they were struggling to meet Target's needs. Next year, Target dumped them. We didn't reorder them. We found something else and that company disappeared. They don't understand that as they consolidate 80% of their business with one huge national chain, mm -hmm. you don't own your business anymore. You know, I got a iPhone application that you can zap a barcode, you know, and see who else sells it. And it came up, oh, your local results, Walmart sells it. And guess what? They're selling it for the same price we were. And it didn't really surprise me. <laughs> We've gotten by on sales tax for a lot of government services, and I think the idea of raising sales tax, I think I'd have a real problem with, but income tax, I think that's fair. It has no effect on my business plan. I, I'm not going to do anything differently personally. I don't believe my customers that may be affected by that are, are, are going to leave town. They've already left town because of the, the weather, so <laughs> I think they'll come back. I do believe people in those tax brackets should be taxed accordingly, and, and I don't believe they should get any cuts.